Don't forget to breathe. In deep, out all the way. Feel that air going in and out. A good day. Let's get that work. Let's get that life. What is up? Friends, good morning. It is an absolutely beautiful, rainy, warm, actually. Uh, Mike Friday here in Arkansas. I just wanted to log in and let you know that I love you and I care about you and I'm thinking about you. And that I hope you're doing the same for someone else. You deserve happiness. You deserve fulfillment. You deserve, well, a good life. Don't be pissed off at yourself if you fuck up. I mean, it's not really all that bad. You are a bad motherfucker, after all. As evident, you're still here after all the shit you've been through. The thing is, just make it to tomorrow. You know? Get past whatever's going on today, and tomorrow it's going to be a little bit smaller. It's in your rearview mirror. And the further you get away from it with enough tomorrows, the smaller that problem seems. And that's the way it goes. Everything in life... Do you remember when you were a kid, you thought, oh, no, I'm going to the principal's office. You feel your legs burning and your heart's pounding and you're scared shitless. But you got through that. Anything else. You're going you're gonna to come across that a lot, 10 or 15 times in your life. If you don't, you're a very lucky person. Um, oh, if anybody has any word on Roger Papa, 231 Flash, please let uh, let us know uh, about him. I haven't heard from Roger in a while. Uh, last I heard from Roger Papa, he was in hospice. Uh, if you don't know, Roger Papa is a fellow YouTuber who uh, had cancer a couple of times, actually. And uh, he kind of did a video chronicling, you know, a little thing about how his chemo went and how he started feeling a little bit better. And then he's just... He told me at the beginning of it, when it came back, he said he knew it would kill him. And, uh, man, but if you're still alive, Roger, if you can watch this, uh, man, I love you. And I'd like to know how you're doing. Uh, but, well, we know what hospice is for, so I hope he's okay. I've been praying for you still, regardless. Oh, my God. You know, there's a huge difference between someone who's been indicted for lying, standing up in court, and saying as part of their plea that they were a co-conspirator with someone who, well, f frankly, the Ninth District has said that they're going to go after Trump. So <laughs> the, New York, the, New, the incoming New York Attorney General has said she's going to go after Trump. So, you know, more investigations in search of crimes. They're just going to investigate, investigate, investigate. You know what I'm going to do? I'm fixing to turn it up because uh, the president needs us. So you need to speak out when you see something shitty happening. Stay informed. <sighs> the, the left, especially Schumer and Pelosi, they, they're old politics people and they have a way of stating the truth and making it seem like their narrative it, it fits with their narrative and you know that's what everybody does really that's you know it's what i do but they're saying oh you haven't spent any of that money you know how much money you need he said he needed all of it you know i he said this at the beginning, and they're trying to twist the narrative. Mexico will pay for it. Now they're trying to go back to that. Well, you know what he said. Mexico will pay for it through taxes and tariffs. He'll renegotiate NAFTA. And as part of that, there will be taxes and tariffs and a change, and we'll make all so much money, Mexico will be paying for the wall. He didn't say he's going to force Mexico to pay for the wall. He didn't say... Mexico is going to write us a check. He never said that. If you can find an instance of that, I'd love to see it. 
But you can find several instances of him saying that he's going to renegoti renegotiate NAFTA. And the money that we'll make from that will pay for the wall. He's actually said it several times. Oh, my goodness. Let's see what else. Yeah, just because Michael Cohen stands up and pleads as part of his plea that he did something doesn't mean it's a conviction. It's just another thing to prove right or wrong. He's already went before Congress and lied to Congress. Them calling him back to lie more. I mean, who cares what Cohen says? Congress needs to charge him with contempt of Congress. That's what needs to happen. But... I digress. He's changed his political party. So now he's a political enemy of the president. And the president can't touch him. Sound familiar? <sighs> the dirtiest people are the most vocal. And that's just the way it goes. So that they can remain political opponents. Look at Adam Schiff. Raped a 19-year-old boy. I mean, it's on record. But there was a cover-up, and he used the slush fund, the Congress, the Congressional Slush Fund. We need to declassify that list, and I don't care who's on it. You know? Trump? POTUS? Do that. Declassify the list. Let's get that slush fund out of there. The America has been calling for that just as long as you've been a president. So, let's see how hypocritical uh, our congressmen are. Uh, let's see what else is going on. It seems Congress is doing their job. They're going to go after Khashoggi, the Khashoggi, you know, BMS, or MBS, Mohammed bin Salman. Maybe uh, we can, you know, keep the, keep it all going. Maybe, you know, maybe not. But I know this needs to be used as leverage to leverage them into doing more for us and less for what's going on over there that's bad in the region. All right. Take an old pair of shoes. You got a couple in your closet. If you're going to throw an old pair of shoes away, take an old pair of socks. Put two pair of socks, one in each shoe, right? Put them behind the seat of your truck. Wrap them in a jacket, an old jacket, or in a blanket, or a blanket, and or in a roll of toilet paper even. Hell, you never know what you need. Wrap all that shit up in a bundle. You can even put it in a duffel bag, right? You don't even have to. But keep it in the seat of your, behind the seat of your truck or in the trunk of your car. And when you see somebody who needs it, give it to them. It's winter time. It's going to be cold. You see somebody who's hungry. There's nothing worse than being cold and hungry. Well, there is, but cold and hungry is pretty fucking bad. This is, you know, when you're cold and when you're hungry, either one by themselves, that's all you can really think about, isn't it? Both together sucks. Look at that. I'm just washed out. Look at that. Oh my goodness. All right. I hope everybody has a great weekend. Uh, I'll be building my kitchen cabinets again this weekend. I'm happy to get that done. <laughs> I love you. I care about you and I'm thinking about you. Have a wonderful Christmas. Have a wonderful holiday. Be positive and think positive. Don't think about the bad things that are associated with, like someone died right before this holiday and how much you miss them while it's going. Don't think about that. Make new memories with the people in your life now. The people in your life now are the ones that matter. The people who are gone, they're gone. They formed who you are. But don't let that pain of them make who you are now a different person. Be the bad motherfucker you are. Be kind. Be generous. Be good to each other. I love you. Have a good one. Little doggy.